let's talk about beating metal. I have here a pair, a, a piece of wire that has had a couple of ends put on it in a loop. In order to keep these loops frozen in place, I don't have to do it in this case, but in some cases you will have to. I take my, this is a, this is a block of steel, it's a steel block. One side is very scored, the other side is not yet scored, but it will be. And what I'm going to do is lay it down on here like this, and I'm going to use my little Vaughn Super Steel. It's a two-ouncer, and I use a Vaughn two-ouncer. I really like this. You're going to pay extra for this, about $35, $40 for this thing, but it'll last you a lifetime. I've had this since 16 years. Well, this one I've had since the 80s. This one I've had here. This one I've had since the 60s. And this is a pair, and it's a German piece, and it's just gorgeous. You see the heads on these things? And you can, you can refurbish the heads. I'll show you how to do that later. That's a different lesson on how to refurbish your equipment. Meantime, let's look at this steel block. I also use a railroad block for it. And just as a steel block, you can get with any jewelry supply. Now, I'm going to take this at the end, at the end. I'm not going to choke up on it unless I want to do something very delicate. Then I can do it like that. You know, just, you just kind of tap. It's better if you let the weight of the hammer do the work. The weight of the hammer do the work. You just lift it up and let it fall. Let, and you guide it down onto the thing. You don't bang on it. You just let it do its own work. Now, if it's a two ounce, don't, it doesn't do the work for you. Get a four ounce. Four ounce doesn't do it. Get an eight ounce. The eight ounce doesn't work. Get a 32 ounce. So you find one that bashes enough to do it. You just lift and guide down. Lift and guide down. Now, what that does is it flattens this. When it flattens it, it's going to open the loop. So you need to then re-establish the loop, and you need to do it gently so that it doesn't score the metal on this. The biggest problem is not the hammer, but your block scoring your metal. So then, when you do this, what you're doing is setting the loop. It will not come out. Once you've done this, that loop will not unwind. It won't tend to, you can take a, a, a pliers to it and try to unwind this, and it is a bear. You really won't be able to do it. Now, where I like to do something like that, I watched in Ashanti, uh, in Ashanti village, I watched uh, a Benin tribesman actually showed me this first. And then I went to the Ashanti and I saw how they worked. And of course, they're very, very hidden and how they're very secretive, uh, naturally, because it's their livelihood. But <laughs> I wasn't going to sit down next to him on a, on a carpet and make something. He knew that. So uh, he showed me some interesting things. He let me watch him. And I will demonstrate to you how to make something work so that it holds its shape. Now this is, I'll put a little loop actually at the top of this, and then I'll pull the loop back a bit like that. We'll talk about why that is later on. And then I'm just going to, with my hands, you'll notice, I don't even need the pliers. I can just bend this stuff like that. Now, when I get to the top, my hand is not trustworthy for it, so I take this, and I don't grab it. I use the pliers to guide it into shape, into position like this, and then I'm going to flatten this out, close the loop. Now I'm going to, this is what I learned from the Ashanti and Benin tribes people who made this. I'm only going to hit this on the bend and then lightly in, in the middle. I'm going to hit it hard on the bend, and here I do put a little pressure, now I'm pounding. This is real pounding here. And we'll talk about how far you can get this to go another time. But doesn't that look like an African piece to you? And you cannot bend this now. It's totally unbendable. The reason is because you put heat into the wire and the wire has now crystallized in this shape.